Hey guys, welcome back to new Concept Art Masters tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create a foliage brush in Photoshop CC 2019. So here you go. I found this photo on unsplash.com. It is I was just searching for foliage and this is uh, the best example because it, it is clean so it's easier to extract. So what you got to do is select the image go and choose your lasso tool. So what I'm gonna do is closely outline it with this tool. Once I've done that, I'm just going to do Control C, which will really copy it, and then Control V, pasted it on a new layer. Then I will turn off the bottom layer. I will do Control L for the levels, push the blacks more to the right, to make it darker and then white to the left to make it lighter. This kind of removes all the um, background area. Once you're done with that and you're satisfied, I will go and choose eraser tool and just erase, clean up the areas that I do not like. Control U, open the hue saturation and move the saturation slider all the way to the left. Then again, control L and just make it darker. Edit and then define brush preset. You name the brush, whatever that you like. Uh, test, uh, the brush works more as a stamp. So you're gonna go here, here, spacing, space it as much as you like. Then shape and dynamics. I turn on the pen pressure. Uh, you want to move this further because you don't want to have this uh, sharp edge the brush. And then you're gonna turn size jitter as well. Um, size jitter means how big the shape gonna be every time you press on the, on the, see it gets larger if I press harder. Angle, if you want it to rotate, Turn around the angle and I would do direction. You can do direction, you don't have to do direction, whichever uh, fits your style or whichever you like. If you don't want direction, you can go just like this and then increase it and go like this. Right. Um, next thing you want to do is if you like, you can add scatter, pen pressure as well. Scatters more, count, increase, increase the count, which means uh, how many of them gonna populate. So it gets thicker and thicker. Probably it's best to leave it at low number. And then color dynamic. Now you have to play with this, uh, whichever you like. Um, I put on pattern pressure. Um, you can increase or decrease. That means how much color gonna show from the front to back and in between. And then hue is, if you increase this, it's gonna st start having funky colors. So I keep that low. Cause you wanna try imitate, imitate their uh, properties of real trees. Uh, brightness is kind of like works as a contrast see how big of a contrast it gives you be between uh, front and back of two colors but then it adds also like a black so I wish they would improve this engine better and purity is see it makes it super saturated or black and white so you gotta play with this according to your liking There you go, then you have your own foliage brush that you can use in your concept art. Once you're done and you like what you see, choose a different brush, brown color right here, and then you can just start drawing like, you know, tree branches. Well, I hope you like this tutorial and uh, please like, subscribe, comment below and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, have a great day.